can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this rectangle and a square is tilted such that the length of this rectangle cuts into x and 3 and the width of this rectangle is 6, then our goal here is to solve for the value of x. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. So, given this figure, our goal is to solve for the value of x. Now, to answer this question is, first, let's observe what is in this figure. Now, in this figure, I see a lot of similar triangles. These similar triangles will help us to solve for the value of x. Now, let's do that. First, let's consider this right triangle on the bottom part. Now, this angle, let's call this as alpha, and this angle, let's call this as beta. Now, since it is a right triangle, so we can say that alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees. Now, at this point, take note on this corner, the corner of this rectangle. So, this is 90 degrees. So, if this is alpha, then the other angle must be equal to beta. Alright? And also, let's look at this corner, the corner of this square. Again, this is 90 degrees, and if one angle is beta, so the other angle is alpha. And now, let's consider this right triangle right here. This is 90 degrees, this is alpha, so this angle must be equal to beta. So we can say this right triangle right here on the bottom part is similar to this right triangle on the side. So we will use these two right triangles to solve for the value of x. First, let's focus on this right triangle right here and let's solve the hypotenuse or the side length of this square. And to do that, we will use the Pythagorean theorem. So we have s squared equals 3 squared plus 6 squared. Now 3 squared is 9 and 6 squared is 36. Now 9 plus 36 will give us 45. Now to solve for the value of s or the side of this square, let's take the square root on both sides. Now, on the left side, we have s, and on the right side, we have square root of 45. Now, square root of 45 is just 9 times 5. And square root of 9 is just 3, so this simplifies to 3 times square root of 5. Therefore, we can say that the side length of this square is simply equal to 3 times square root of 5. And now, take note that all sides of the square are equal. So this side must be also equivalent to 3 times square root of 5. And now also take note that the length of this rectangle is simply x plus 3. Now consider this right triangle. So we have here the hypotenuse and its longer leg. So we can rewrite the ratio of its hypotenuse to its longer leg like this. We have x plus 3 all over 3 times square root of 5. Now, since the two right triangles are similar, so x plus 3 over 3 times square root of 5 must be equal to the ratio of the hypotenuse and the longer leg of this right triangle. So x plus 3 over 3 times square root of 5 must be equal to 3 times square root of 5 all over 6. Now, let's focus on this equation and solve for the value of x because the value of x is what we want. So, let's multiply both sides by 3 times square root of 5. Now, let's simplify. 3 times square root of 5 times 3 times square root of 5. This will give us 9 times 5. Now, 9 and 6 have a common factor of 3. So, let's divide 9 and 6 by 3. This will give us 3 and 2. Now, 3 times 5 will give us 15. And to solve for the value of x, let's subtract 3 on both sides. So now, we have 15 over 2 minus 3. And 15 over 2 minus 3 can be written as 15 minus 6 all over 2. And 15 minus 6 is definitely equal to 9. Therefore, our answer to this question, the value of x in this figure is simply 9 over 2. And as always, we are done.